Hi, welcome back to In The Loop. I'm Bob Frankfurter. Do you love fish? I love everything about fish. I love their skin. I love their scales. I love their colors. I love their pungent, watery aroma. Today, our resident icky itch, itchy matro, Jerry, what is this word? Well, why can't the cue card just say fish expert then? <clears throat> right. Our local fish expert, Dr. Adipos, is here to talk about how to appropriately love the fish that we catch. Doctor, welcome back to the show. Yes, Bob. Thanks for having me. And let me start by saying that I was deeply disturbed by what I saw you doing to that, that fish mannequin a moment ago. What, what you mean? You mean this? Yes, precisely. That is utterly inappropriate decorum for the safe handling of any fish species that you intend on releasing. Of, of course I intend to release them. I love the fish. So I understand. But what you're doing there, all that, um, touching, I see that you're enjoying yourself maybe a bit too much? But if that were actually a live fish species, you would be doing irreparable harm to its mucous membrane. It's, it's what? It's mucous membrane. It's protective slime, if you will. Most fish species have a layer that protects them from bacterial infections. If you handle these fish too much, you can remove this layer and they can become diseased and even die. You mean by loving the fish that I can kill them? It's a bad touch? Precisely. In order to minimize fish mortality, there are a few things that we need to do. First, handle the fish as little as possible. If you can keep the fish in the water and pop the hook from its mouth without ever even touching it, that's the best. If you must handle the fish, be sure to wet your hands first. Get in the water. Never bring a fish onto the shore or up into the boat. Gently cradle the fish underwater until the photographer has the shot framed and is ready to go. Lift the fish gently, never squeeze it, and never keep it out of the water for more than just a few seconds. Remember, just because a fish swims away, it does not mean that that fish is unharmed. A recent study shows that 10% of released fish still suffer mortality, and inappropriately handled fish, they die much more frequently. But with these practices, you can give those fish the best possible chance at survival. Bob? Bob? Why are you crying? I'm, I'm crying for all the fish that I accidentally killed with my love. This is Bob Frankfurter, keeping you in the loop. 